Hello. Hello, the best innovation community in the world. Dear students, dear innovators, dear investors, dear friends, first of all, it's a great pleasure for me to be together with all of you today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Slash, for being the most exciting, the most positive, and the most future-oriented event for startups. Well, today I would like to share with you why and how Europe can become a global leader in deep tech innovation. First, let's set the scene. Actually, we have some very, very encouraging facts and numbers. First, we are witnessing a new wave of innovation, but let's see what happened in Europe. For the first time, we have seen a record number of investment, 100 billion in European startups. For the first time, we compete with the United States for the early stage, the 5 million rounds. And at the same time, what we have seen that it's only one year in 21, we doubled the number of European unicorns from 44 to 89. So in the only five last years, the increase of innovation potential of Europe is 13%. All this, it's really encouraging. And actually, we all can see that we have to build on these strengths. And that's why, together with the European innovation ecosystem, we decided to seize this opportunity. Let me just very briefly mention what is specific about the new deep tech wave of innovation. For sure, the last decade, that was great to see the digital wave of innovation. That definitely made our life easier. We already have seen how we can be more efficient, more productive, how we can really de reduce human error. But Definitely, we arrive at the moment of our history that only with digital tools, digital solutions, we can't find these solutions that will allow us to tackle the deepest societal challenges. So what I would like to share with you today first is that when we talk about deep tech innovation, it's tackling deepest societal challenges climate change, demography, mobility, digitalization. Today, only together we can succeed. And Europe, again, already have some very good examples for this new deep, wave, deep tech wave of innovation. What is different? Different is that first we have extraordinary startups with breakthrough technologies, innovative, and during the pandemic, we all have seen that we have now a new tendency, a new dynamic that is created. Look just at the example of BioNTech startup that discovered the mRNA technology, but at the same time, startup needs big companies and large corporates in order really to scale. On the other side, it was important this time to work with regulators in order to have the authorization procedures as fast as possible. At the same time, we need strong venture capital. At the same time, we need talents. We need people with the right skills and competencies in order to allow all this ecosystem to thrive. So it was great that we have this good example, but of course, it's only one. That's for us a new, new dynamic. This time, with deep tech wave of innovation, what we would like to see is really a cooperation between big and small, between universities and regulators, between industry and public authorities, in order, again, to tackle our deepest societal challenges. That's why. Together with the ecosystem, we decided to seize this chance. And the last one here, I must say that I'm really very grateful to all our unicorns, startup, venture capital, women founders, because the new European innovation agenda is 
your result, the result of your work. What we decided is to identify clearly five flagship initiatives, the main actions that we need at European level in order to facilitate your life and to put into action 25 actions for the next two years. Clear priorities, concrete actions, very, very targeted timetable. What are those five main flagships? For, first, scaling up. It's true that today in Europe we have an extraordinary number of startups, but we have to be there to help really to pass the so-called Valley of the Dead. We need to be there for the scaling up. And that's why at the European Commission, of course, will make our contribution with mechanism like Escalar or new listing act that we'll, we'll adopt in the next month in December. Our intention is very clear, 45 billion euros raised by private and institutional investors in order to help the scaling up of our companies and of course to have European champions. The second flagship initiative, and I'm always saying that only the innovation community understands what that means. We need experimentation spaces, we need sandboxes, we need test beds and living labs. Of course, there is not only artificial intelligence or hydrogen, but we need to provide these to our innovators in order to thrive and to grow. Third flagship initiative, we need to talk about innovation cohesion. Actually, we have everywhere in Europe, in all our regions, vibrant, dynamic, local, regional innovation ecosystems. But they are don't, not connected to each other. We need, with all our regions, to build a pan-European innovation ecosystem. And that's why our main action is to have in Europe 100 regional innovation valleys with a budget of 10 billion euros in order really to push and to accelerate. Fourth flagship, I'm sure that everyone knows what I, we are talking about. Talents. The most fierce competition in the 21st century it will be for talents. And we need really talents in Europe and we need to become attractive destination for talents. For that flagship initiative, it's 1 million deep tech talents in Europe for the next three years. And of course, we would like to create, create a European talent pool in order to help our startups to find talents not only in Europe, but to attract talents outside of Europe. Here there is a particular challenge really to make working closer the two worlds of research and innovation. And that's why we would like to promote this cooperation. Finally, maybe that sounds a little bit different from the four other flagships, but we need to work on robust data sets in order to have policies that are really adequate to what happened on the ground. We need a common definition on startup, on scale-up. We need to have a very clear picture of what's happened, what are the tendencies, because no one knows what will be in 10 years our future, but we have to be ready to react. And here, a special word to a topic that is very close to my heart. We need more women in deep tech, in innovation, in the world of startup, and here they have my full support. Now, the flagship initiatives are here with concrete examples from the 100 regional innovation valleys in Europe to the 1 million deep tech talents for scaling up to robust data set, passing by experimentation spaces and sandboxes. But it's true that it's really time to pass from the co-creation of the framework, it's here, it's necessary, to the co-implementation. That's why that's my call today for you, because for, for us, the new European innovation agenda is a call for action. Don't hesitate to join the coalition of the WILIC. That's an informal alliance of public and private actors of the pan-European innovation ecosystem. And we would like to implement together this new European innovation agenda. We would like to have regular meetings every six months in order to see what is working well, what, what is not working, and where there is a need of some additional efforts. The first meeting will be the 7th of December during the EIC summit. That's my message to you. You already have shown us that we 
can be a leader as Europe in this new deep tech wave of innovation. Join the coalition of the willing and continue to be in the driving seat. Thank you very much. Thank you, Slash, because here I can only join one message. Slash for me is S for solidarity, L for leadership, U for unity, S for success, and H for humanity. Let's show together with the new European innovation agenda we can promote a European leadership, we can show that innovation is here in order to make our societies and our economies resilient, future-oriented, and supportive of all their talents and regions. Thank you very much.